Imran Khan is a busy man. He's the prime minister of a country that is buried in debt. Inflation is reaching new heights and the country has faced a series of warnings from international bodies to clamp down on terror. This is old news. But what Imran Khan is worried about at the moment is a direct challenge to his authority. Look at these images. Need I say more? A protest march called by the opposition parties will bring together, is bringing together, thousands of protesters, thousands of people to the streets. It is a big show of power by the country's opposition. The march is being led by a man called Maulana Fazlur Rehman, a fierce critic of Imran Khan. He's the chief of the right-wing group, Jamaat Ulema e Islam Fazl. The main objective is to call for Imran Khan's resignation. All major opposition parties, including the PMLN, Nawaz Sharif's party, and the PPP, Bhutto's party, have announced their support. And around 100,000 people are expected to participate. Support has swelled on the ground ever since the march started off from Karachi. It has entered the third day today and an overnight stay in Multan in the Punjab region. Uh, the protesters are on their way to Lahore next, where camps have been set up in various parts to welcome them. The culmination will be in Islamabad, where the final Azadi march will take place on the 31st of this month. The party leading the protest has also demanded a fresh election without the deployment of army troops at polling stations. Very interesting this. Fazlur Rahman has said that Imran Khan came to power through a rigged election. The opposition has blamed Imran Khan for Pakistan's worsening economic situation. Earlier, the opposition had planned to protest in Islamabad's red zone, where all the government and military buildings are located. But after hours of negotiations, they agreed to consider alternative venues. But the pictures are telling. Containers have now been placed around Islamabad's D Chowk to avoid the Azadi March protesters from reaching the red zone. Fazlur Rahman has also sought support from the Pakistani army. He met the Pakistani army chief, General Kamar Javed Bajwa, who chose to support Imran Khan, we are told. No surprises there. And now, despite the army's backing, Imran Khan seems to have pressed the panic button. The fact that the army agreed to such a protest also shows their ambivalence. The government has put in place elaborate security arrangements. Authorities have given a conditional clearance for the final march in Islamabad. A clearly worried Imran Khan has said that he will not stand in the way of democratic protests. However, he has also questioned the intentions behind the march. He's feeling the heat clearly, with some reports suggesting that this march could well end up being much bigger than his own Azadi march, which, which was taken out in 2014 against the then Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and his government. And Imran Khan's Azadi march is believed to, to have been a key factor that propelled him to power. For now, he can only hope that history does not repeat itself.